action. Hi guys, happy Memorial Day weekend. Tonight we're going to be making a fun and easy salad. So come along with me and let's get started. Tonight I am going to be making an ultimate bacon and broccoli salad. This is actually a recipe that we made on our channel almost four years ago and I wanted to make something for our Memorial Day weekend that would be very fun and very delicious and it is easy and my family really enjoys it. We hope that you will as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay so you are going to need a large size bowl and in my bowl, I already have broken down my fresh broccoli. You're going to need about five cups of fresh broccoli. And I like to break mine into little pieces because I find that, that the dressing spreads a lot easier and I just like the mouthfeel and texture of bite-sized pieces, but you can do whatever you'd like. The first thing that we are going to add is bacon because this is an ultimate bacon and broccoli salad, so bacon is very important. And I have one cup of bacon here, which I use bacon crumbles. That's what I enjoy. And I have rewarmed them in about a tablespoon of rendered bacon grease. You can also just use regular strip bacon, which I have done with this recipe before. And that is about eight to 10 slices, depending on, on how big a slices of bacon you have. And then after you get it cooked, all you'd have to do is chop it up. But I'm beginning with that step already done. So the next thing that we want is about a cup of broccoli slaw. And you can just find this in the salad department with the rest of the bagged salads. And all it is, is broccoli. Sometimes they put a little bit of carrot. This has a little bit of carrot in it, but it's very negligible as far as carbs. It's still a low carb product. I like using the broccoli slaw because it's a different texture. It's long strands of broccoli instead of florets. So it really gives a nice texture to our salad. So I'm going to put that in. The next thing I want to add is purple or red onion, however you like to say it. You don't have to use this color of onion. You could use a regular white onion, but I do appreciate the color that this, that this provides. And also it gives you such a nice pungent onion flavor without a great deal of onion. This is only a third of an onion. So it's a very small amount of onion, but I have chopped it very finely. And this is going to permeate our salad, especially overnight and give it a real depth of flavor, which is what I'm looking for. So in that goes. I'm going to go ahead and give this a bit of a toss. And I'm just bringing all of our broccoli from the bottom and getting these things incorporated. Okay, so we have our, our initial toss and you'll find with this salad that after we make our dressing and we put it in and we toss it again that before you serve, you're going to want to toss it again because your dressing will settle and all of those things will happen. So re-tossing it before you serve every time is a very good idea. So now I'm going to set these ingredients aside and we're going to start working on our dressing. So I am beginning with one cup of full fat mayonnaise here in my little dish and I'm just going to make my dressing in this little dish and then put it onto the salad. So the first ingredient I want to add to my cup of mayonnaise is some seasonings because I want this to be a nice flavorful salad. Broccoli is a very neutral item. So along with the bacon, which provides the smokiness, I want a little bit of seasoning to incorporate into that. So I'm using a couple of my favorites, which is about a teaspoon of Trader Joe's 21 Seasoning Salute and a teaspoon of garlic powder. And you can use any kind of all-purpose or herb and seasoning blend. It does not have to be those two. I'm also going to add a teaspoon of salt. 
and a teaspoon of black pepper. I'm also going to add about two tablespoons of ranch dressing. This is a low carb ranch dressing. You could use a little bit of blue cheese or you could completely omit this. I do happen to enjoy the zing that this helps to provide into our broccoli salad. So now we have all of our dressing ingredients, but we want to make it thinner to incorporate into our broccoli salad. So in order to do that, I'm going to be adding apple cider vinegar. And I just have regular apple cider vinegar here. This one happens to be organic, but with apple cider vinegar, you wanna make sure that you shake it up really well because the mother or the natural ingredients in the natural components that make apple cider vinegar so good for your digestion tend to settle to the bottom. So you do wanna make sure that you give that a real good shake. I'm gonna be putting in about three tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. The other thing that I'm going to put in, and this is completely an optional step, I'm going to be putting in a little bit of liquid sweetener. You could use stevia, you could use Splenda, you can use any kind of liquid sweetener that you would like. I'm using this because in your traditional deli broccoli salads, there is a hint of sweetness in there, in your dressing. And of course, you know, in a typical deli salad, it's full of lots of sugar. But because we are going for a low carb product here, we want to avoid those excess sugars. So I'm just gonna put in a few squeezes of this. Once again, this is a completely optional step. Now I'm just going to combine my dressing ingredients until we have a nice incorporated sauce. I'm basically just getting all the lumps out of the mayonnaise. Now I have found with this salad that putting the dressing on and letting it sit for at least several hours, but even better overnight, makes the best result. And that just allows all the flavors to incorporate into the broccoli and basically marinate it so that it becomes a really flavorful salad. Okay, so there is our dressing. And I am going to pour this onto all of our salad ingredients and I'm going to use my um, bamboo salad tongs and incorporate as much as I can. Okay, here's our dressing. And I'm going to use my spatula to make sure I get every last bit of it. So now I'm going to start the tossing process. Just working from the bottom and coming up. So that we get all of our ingredients coated with the dressing. I'm also rotating my bowl a little bit. Okay, so we have a pretty good coat. As I said before, you are going to want to toss this salad multiple times. I'm going to be tossing it just a bit more before we put it into the refrigerator to chill because there are two more ingredients that I'm going to add to our salad. So the first ingredient is cheese and I am using sharp cheddar here and I have a very thick grate. So I found that the thicker the cheese, the more it will show up in the salad and actually be um, more noticeable in a taste capacity. So I have very chunky grated cheese here. Another alternative is you could cube your cheese. That's often done in delis as well. And that way your cheese does not get lost in your salad. And I am using sharp cheddar. You could use any kind of cheese that you enjoy but I like also the yellowness of this because then it stands out a bit against all the green. And before we toss again, I'm going to add our last ingredient. 
and that is pepitas or pumpkin seeds. These are roasted and salted and I have about a cup here and that's going to provide us with some nice crunch. You could alternately use roasted sunflower seeds if you like, but with pumpkin seeds they have zero net carbs because they're all fiber. So I find that it's really nice plus they are high in good healthy fats. They taste really good and that's going to give our salad that extra bit of crunch. Not that it won't be crunchy already with the bacon and the broccoli, but it's just a nice little flourish and you can absolutely omit these if you don't care for them. Okay, so I'm going to toss some more. Okay, so there is our completed ultimate bacon and broccoli salad. This is going to go perfectly with all of your barbecue foods this weekend. I'm going to put a lid on this and let it chill for several hours and then we will have CJ let us know what he thinks. All right, so this is the next day and we are now going to eat the salad, but I'm going to toss it first because every time you're getting ready to serve this salad, even if you use it over the weekend for a couple of days, you want to toss it every time just because it helps incorporate everything together. And everything has marinated together and it's ready to be served and eaten. Hi. Hi. Happy Memorial Day weekend. Yeah. Okay. I'm so ready for it. Uh, yes, I bet. <laughs> it's been a long day. All right. This is the ultimate bacon and broccoli salad. So do tell us how it is. good. The flavors have had time to kind of meld together. Seems like the sauce has thickened overnight. It's really flavorful. And the nuts, um, not nuts, but the I guess it'll be nuts, yeah. seeds yeah. actually give it a nice textural uh, contrast. That's awesome. So good job, baby. Thanks. Thanks for making it. Excited to eat it. Yeah, me too. All right. Bye. Bye. Stopping by, we hope that you will consider subscribing and hitting the bell so that you know when our recipes go up. We are also on social media, and that is CJ's Keto Kitchen Everywhere, and we hope that you will join us there as well. Have a safe and happy holiday. Until next time, be well. So can you toss the salad? Yes. But just, you know, just try to toss it and Tell people they should toss it, but not. We don't want the chemical makeup of the need salad, to, how broccoli to, is grown. We don't need to talk about, you know, how the physical. Where the cheese was and farmed and the sheep that it came from, no, none of that. No, okay. No. All right. So this is the next day.